pig's eggs, must you? Must I what, sis? Make noise like a hungry hippopotamus. Yep. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Hi, Papa. Hi. For you, dear, airmail special. Hey, it's from Cousin Gaylord. Cousin Gaylord? Yeah, he's a fairly distant cousin, Kath, one of the Atlanta lanes. He says, howdy, Cousin Martin. We all as fine as wine. Hope you all are the same. <laughs> me and Sissy are busy... That's Cousin Gaylord's wife. Uh, me and Sissy are busy on bow weevils at the store, but glory be, things are booming. <laughs> well, isn't that nice? Which brings me to the reason for writing. Our little gal Betsy is coming home from boarding school on vacation, and her mommy and me are just too darn rushed at the store to look after her proper. So I was hoping you could put her up for a couple of weeks. Why, of course. We'd love to have her. Oh, Natalie, you have enough to handle around here as it is. Oh, I don't mind the extra work. It's only for a couple of weeks. Oh, this is a big house, Nat, and you have practically no help. So much as I'd like to have Cousin Betsy come, I'm afraid I'm going to have to say thank you, but no thank you. I'll get it. Cousin Patty. Cousin Patty? Uh-huh. I'm Daddy Gaylord's little gal, Betsy. and co I date him, too. And that's another boy you date? Uh-huh. They all are. Come on now, Betsy. You're not going to tell us you go out with the whole football team. <laughs> of course not, Cousin Patty. I just, uh, the backfield. <laughs> They're all back home. I don't know any boys here. Betsy, tell you what. Tomorrow we'll go down to the shake shop so you can meet some of the fellas. Oh, please don't trouble yourself. Oh, it's no trouble at all. You're both so sweet, but honest. Back home, I'm happy just to sit and read a good book. When do you find the time? <laughs> notice you. My, no one boy sure are friendly. Well, they want you to know there's no hard feelings about Fort Sumter. <laughs> oh, come on, there's Kathy. Excuse me. Hi. Beg your pardon. Excuse me. Hi, Kathy. We're here. We saved a place for you. George, say hello to Betsy Lane, our cousin from Atlanta. Betsy, this is George Tuttle, a friend of mine. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Thank you. Did you say Tutwiller? Uh, that's right. Are you by any chance a kinfolk of Thomas Jefferson Tutwiller, the famous Confederate general? 
Gee, I don't know. My folks are mostly in the stationery business. <laughs> I'll just bet you are. Down home, there's this big statue of General Tutwell in the park, waving his saber and leading his troops into battle. <laughs> you look just like him. No kidding. Uh-huh. What'll it be? That depends on how Kathy's fixed for funds. Uh, no, uh, this is my treat. Well, thank you kindly, Mr. Tutwell. Call me George. George. I'll have a chocolate sundae with sprinkles. Uh, what about you, Betsy? Oh, uh, I'll just have a little root beer. Uh, one root beer. Oh, make it a small one here. When I meet somebody fascinating, I just get too excited to eat. No kidding. <laughs> I uh, hope we're not interrupting anything, Kathy. No. George was just going over a poem he's reading to the literary club. A poem? Really? I, I just adore poetry. No kidding. Uh -huh. George was uh, reading some of Shakespeare's verse. Oh, I'd love to hear it, Mr. Tutwella. Uh, uh, call me General. <laughs> I, mean, I mean George. George. Hello, Patty. Hi, Kath. What are you doing home? I thought you had a date with George Tutweller. He called to say he couldn't make it. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, have you seen Betsy? She's not in her room. No, she went to the movies with George Tutweller. Shit! Why that sneaky little thing? No, she's not, Patty. She told me he asked her to go. Oh, why didn't you tell her to lay off? Well, how could I after she'd accepted? She'd have been terribly embarrassed. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, goodbye, Charlie, to him, I say. Yes. He was very nice, though. Oh, forget it, Kath. If a guy is that fickle, I say P-H-I. P-H-I? Pack him in. <laughs> You're taking my loss very well. I'm sorry, Kath. Hi, yo. Well, hi, Betsy. How come you're home so early? Because Mr. George Tutwell is a total disaster. What happened? Our wagon train was attacked. <laughs> you what? George took me to a cowboy movie. I've never been so bored in all my living days. I'm sorry it was such a dull evening. Oh, it wasn't all bad. At the popcorn stand, this real cute boy came up and introduced himself. Oh? What was his name? Robert. Or was it William? <laughs> Don, I can't recall. Oh, well, chin up. It'll come back to you. And if it doesn't, he will. <laughs> yes, I do believe I'll be hearing from him. Oh, let's hope so. We wouldn't want you to get the impression that all northern boys are as pokey as old George. <laughs> you know something? <laughs> I just bet he was fibbing when he claimed to be kinfolk of General Thomas Jefferson Tutwiller. Come on, Kath, let's park. Hey, too bad Betsy couldn't come tonight. The place is really clear. Patty, Betsy is here. Look. Yep, that's our Betsy. I wonder who she's with. Perhaps it's that real cute boy whose name she couldn't remember. <laughs> it's Richard! Why that Confederate Cleopatra? Patty, you can't make a scene here. Well, how dare she date Richard? He's mine! Well, Betsy doesn't know that. Obviously, Richard hasn't told her. Hmm. Why do I get my hands on him? Why bother? I say. Goodbye, Charlie, to him. What? Well, if a man is that fickle, forget him. I say P-H-I. <laughs> that cute boy I met took me to the pictures. Turns out his name's Richard Harrison. You don't say. <laughs> but maybe you'd like to have this for your collection. Why, it's Richard. Patty, you're the living Anne. Love, Richard. Patty, I had no idea. No. I'm sure Richard was too busy to bring it up. Who 
What a wicked boy. I could sink right through the floor. Forget it. You can't help being irresistible. We'll make like it never happened. Patty, you're such a wonderful person. Yeah. I hope we don't run out of boys before you leave. <laughs> Richard was right about one thing. You are the living end. Good night, Betsy. I just love being here with Patty, Sarah Jane. I wish I could stay on and on like Cousin Kathy. Don't see how I could, though, as long as Kathy's here. Sarah Jane, wouldn't it be nice if, if Kathy suddenly took a notion to go off and live with a daddy in Europe? Don't suppose she ever will, though. Not unless something happened to put that notion in her head. Oh, certainly. I was just finishing a letter to my father. Oh. Where is your daddy now? In Rome. Next week, India. My. I'll bet you miss him a lot. Hmm? Terribly. That's why I write such long letters. Don't you ever get to see him? Oh, on his vacations. We have marvelous times. But then there's always the day when we have to say goodbye again. That must be just awful. Patty and Aunt Natalie and Uncle Martin and Ross make it a lot easier. My, they're real folks. They certainly do make a person feel welcome. Yes, they're pretty special. Indeed they are. I mean, no matter how long you live here, Cousin Kathy, I'll bet they'll never let you feel you're in the way. In the way? Oh, but you're not. You're family. Oh, and you and Patty get on so well. Yes, we do. My, that's wonderful. You know, I recall once when my mama invited her sister to come and live with us. After a while, mama couldn't wait for Andy to get up and go. Her own sister. Well, perhaps Patty and I are lucky that we're only first cousins. Shall we have a look at that dress? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Busy? Oh, just doing my geometry homework. Or trying to. Darn. Why wasn't I born with brains like Kathy? Aunt Natalie says she's just brilliant. Fantastic. IBM machines bring their problems to Kathy. Why, your mother just goes on and on about how wonderful Kathy is. Yeah. Oh, why don't you ask her to help you with that? Oh, not Kathy. She says it's good for my character to go it alone. Oh. My roommate at boarding school is smart like Kathy. Mary Lou knows everything. Yeah, that can be a drag to live with sometimes. You really mean that, Cousin Patty? Oh, don't breathe a word of this to anybody. But as much as I adore and worship Kathy. Yes. Well, sometimes when she comes on like Albert Einstein. Don't say a word. That's just how I feel about Mary Lou sometimes. Aren't we awful? <laughs> Dreadful. You know something, Cousin Patty? I didn't realize we had so much in common. <laughs> well, better get along to that now. What's the square root of 17? Figure it out. Thanks a lot. I haven't got time. Oh? What's your hurry? I'm taking Betsy to that dance at the Y tonight. 
You want to come with us? No, thank you. I think I'll stay in and wash my hair. Well, as long as you're staying in, would you copy out the last few equations for me? I will, if you insist. But I really think you ought to do it yourself, Patty. Excuse me. I forgot what a high-minded character I live with. What? Well, it's not as if I asked you to help me cheat on an exam or something. Patty, what's gotten into you? Nothing. It's just I hate this assignment, so... All right. I'll finish it for you. No, I'll do it. Well, why don't you come with us, Cat? The place will be bulging with boys. Indeed. All baying after you and Betsy. Kathy, you can have any boy you want. You just don't try. You have to pour on a little flattery. I know. But when I do, I sound like such a ninny. Oh. Is that how I sound to you? Like a ninny? I, I didn't mean that. Well, you practically said so. I didn't. But you do think so. All right. If you want the truth, I suppose there are times when you do. Kathy! Oh, don't be upset. I, I'm sure there are times when you find me a long-haired drag. I never said that. Let's face it, Patty. We're, we're really very different people. Oh, yeah, but we get along great. Don't you ever get tired of having me around all the time? Intruding? Intruding? Well, Kathy, whatever put such an idea in your head? I don't know. Perhaps it was something that Betsy said the other day. What did she say? That I was lucky to be living with a family that never made me feel I was in the way. In the way? You? You know, the other night, little old cousin Betsy somehow got me to admit that, well, that I get edgy when you're being brilliant at school. And I found myself telling her that, that I resented your being so popular with boys. Kathy, do you think our cousin is up to something? I don't know. Sure sounds like she's trying to make trouble between us. But why on earth should she? I can't imagine. Something spooky is going on around here. Patty, Betsy is a very sweet girl. Oh, bless her. Butter would melt in her pretty little mouth. Let's not be unkind. No. I'll just have a little old root beer. Or make it a small one. Here. When I meet somebody fascinating, Mr. Tutwell, I just get too excited to eat. And then she went after Richard the chicken-minded. <laughs> I'm gonna find out what she's up to. Oh, by out sneaking her. <laughs> We'll be right in. Oh, thank you. Aren't you going to come with us, Kathy? No, I never have much fun at dances. I understand. It must get tiresome seeing Patty with all the boys. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid it does. It's a shame. I mean, you think Patty'd make a little more effort to see that you had a good time, too. Uh, I'm sure she tries. Sometimes. I doubt it. Cousin Kathy, has it ever occurred to you that 
Well, that maybe Patty enjoys sashaying up with the boys while you sit off in the corner? Cousin Betsy. Oh, Betsy, here's that pin you wanted to borrow. What have you been doing? Just, uh, having a little heart-to-heart -heart with our cousin. Isn't that right, Betsy? Oh. I agree with you, Patty. It was shameful of Betsy. She do such a thing. Well, perhaps your father can tell us when he's through talking to her. No, I don't really care. I just wanted to go home. Well, Papa. Well, I had a talk with Betsy, and then I called cousin Gaylord, and he's coming to pick her up. Good riddance. Patty, you and Kathy have every reason to be furious with Betsy, but we should try to understand her a little. I do. She's a snake. No, she's just a very lonely girl. Lonely? Have you seen that collection of boys on her dresser? Well, maybe she has plenty of dates. But what she doesn't seem to have is a family. What about Gaylord and Sissy? Well, I gather that Gaylord and Sissy ship Betsy off to boarding school so that they can devote all their time to building up their business. And on her vacations, they fob her off on relatives like us. OK, so she's lonely. But why did she try to start a feud around here? Because, honey, she had the wild hope that Kathy would decide she wasn't welcome here, and then Betsy could come and live with us instead. Boy, she must have been desperate. She must feel terrible about this. Okay, I'll go tell Kathy we don't hate Betsy anymore. I think somebody ought to have a talk with Cousin Gaylord. Somebody did. That's why he'll be here on the next plane. Good. And next summer, we want you to come and stay with us. Do you really mean that, Cousin Patty? Of course. And so do I. Betsy, look who's here. Daddy! Howdy, honey. I didn't know you were coming. I know you didn't, honey, but aren't you glad? Yeah. Howdy, Cousin Natalie. Hello, Gaylord. Daddy, I'd like you to meet Cousin Patty. Hi. And Kathy and Ro. Howdy, y'all. Hey, they all talk like that. Betsy. <laughs> Mom. Oh, honey, I'm so glad to see it, you. You came, too. Of course I did, honey. How howdy, everybody. Hello, <laughs> I, I'm just thrilled, but it didn't need both of you to come to fetch me home. We're not going home just yet, gal. Daddy booked us into a hotel here, honey, for a whole week. Right. Us country cousins going to see the big town. Golly. Yes, sir. Me and your mommy got a heap of catching up to do. Daddy decided, honey. You're transferring to the high school back home so we can get acquainted with you. You hear that? But, Daddy, who's going to take care of the store? Hang the store. I want to enjoy my pretty daughter's company before some smart young fella starts keeping it with her. <laughs> Come along, gal. I'm mighty grateful to you folks. I'll drive you to the hotel. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Bye now. And thank you all for being so wonderful. I'll be seeing you. Thank you very much. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye. You all come back. Here. Here's Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair! But they're cousins, identical cousins, and you'll find they laugh alike. They
they walk alike, at times they even talk alike.